this is Paul Gilbert, and you are watching a video from my online school of rock guitar presented by ErnieBall.com. <laughs> This is an amazingly powerful technique for your phrasing and for your first finger. There's some amazing first finger technique things in here. So I want you to check this out. We're obviously doing some bends in the pentatonic scale with some pick muting. We've done that before. The new thing is I'm adding notes that are potentially harmonies to this. So if you know some other guitar players or if you want to play along with me, uh, we're going to get some really cool harmonies here. And not only are they good harmonies, but they're great notes just by themselves. So this is a very valuable thing to learn. Now the first one, that's the phrase. I think by now with all your experience you're going to get this pretty quick. We're just bending up and down from the fourth to the fifth, doing our, uh, our bending lick with a pull off in it. There's the pull off, down to the root. And then doing the third, back to the root. So by ear, I'm sure you can get this by now. Now the next one has exactly the same rhythm and the same phrasing and accents, but the notes are different. And I chose the notes to be harmonies to that first part. So let's take a look at what they are. Here's what it sounds like. This is cool. So we're doing a half bend from the major sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to bend up a half step to the minor seventh. And that's a really nice harmony with what we were doing here. So those fit together really well. And then I'm going to outline the rest of the lick with harmonies as well. So I'll go. Now this is tricky because the first finger has to jump over to the same fret on the next lower string. So let's check out what that first finger is doing. So they're making a quick little jump there to get that note to happen. If you bar, those notes tend to ring together and you don't have as many vibrato options. So I really recommend the technique of jumping across like that. So we've got and then a little vibrato and a little slide. And then the next one, it's actually going to feel exactly the same because it's really the same lick just on the next set of strings up. Now this one, this is where you're going to really, might, you might find a new spot where you don't have a callus. I know I didn't have a callus here initially to do vibrato there. And this is really the, this is planting the seeds of the BB King callus. If you ever watched B.B. King, his hand shaking all over the place on that first finger. And you can only do it if you have a callus. So check that out again. All right. So I'm going to play these all in order, just like I did at the beginning. One, two, three. rhythm to answer. That's just a D power chord with a C note with a second finger and then an A power chord with the root first. Let me see what my first stroke is going to be if I go. It's going to work nice with the with the with the upstrokes on those on those syncopated accents. All right. Now the other thing I should let you know about this is I'm not starting on one. I'm starting on one and two and three and four and on the and of four. And if you remember, if we're counting our downbeats, you know, one, two, three, four. The ands come in the middle. One and two and three and four and. And that's 
where we're starting. One and two and three and four and. Three and four and. Three and four and. an awesome, awesome, powerful way to get the coordination of your first finger together, to learn some really cool harmonies and get a good bending vocabulary, and it's just a good lick by itself. Let's do it one more time and have a good time. One, and two, and three, and four. <laughs> All right, I've told you that uh, these are harmonies, but I'm going to prove it by playing them. So I recorded the part that I taught you, but now I'm going to play the harmony on top. And really the only difference with the harmony is I have to start on the second one. So that's the harmony. Then I go up. And then after that, I'm going to actually play the first one, but an octave higher. And that'll end up being the harmony so uh, you'll hear how this all fits together. This really sounds cool. Here we go. third harmony, so we're going to start here on the last one, do our octave, that was the octave of the first one, and we have to still go up higher, so I'm going to take our second one, that begins on an F sharp and bends it, so I'm going to find that F sharp up here and do the same notes. The shape is a little bit different because the strings are tuned differently. Here we have uh, these two strings, which are tuned in a major third. One, two, three. So we have to do this fingering. But these strings are tuned in fourths. One, two, three, four. So we have to change our fingering to adjust for that. Which actually makes it easier to play, I think. All right, so now that you know this one, we can do the whole third harmony. So here we go. So I'm going to put all three of those separately uh, up for you to play along with. And that way you can test out the low part, the medium part, and the high part and play along and uh, have a great time playing some harmonies in pentatonic. I think you're going to dig it. And whether you play in a harmony or whether you play these as uh, separate notes, they really sound cool. Great bending, great notes. These are going to work.